If I should do a quick guide on how to install this frame generation mod for Red Dead Redemption 2. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you enable DX12. So just come down here and enable this. It will tell you to restart. You should do that to begin with. After you enable DX12, there should be a link to this file in the description. Just download that and make sure you extract it. In this file, you want to copy over these files right here. So in the Red Dead Redemption 2 underscore FSR3, yada, yada, yada. Copy all three of these files here. Now you want to go to your game directory. For me, it's in games, games, and Red Dead Redemption 2, and just copy it over. After that, I want you to come down to dlsstweaks.ini. Double click onto that. Scroll down until you find DLL path overrides. And then you should see a thing called other DLLs that uses frame gen, yada, yada, yada. And then right here, you want to just copy your game location and just paste it right here. Do a backward slash. Now back in the original file, you want to go to reshared underscore setup. Just double click that. Now click on browse and go to the Red Dead Redemption 2.exe. Double click that. Next, make sure to pick the second one right here. DirectX 10, 11, 12. Next, update, next, and then just finish. After that, you want to go into this pure doc again folder and just copy all of this over. Go back to where your games are and just paste it here. So after you've pasted all those files, you want to disable the NVIDIA signature override. Say yes, yes. And now you're nearly finished. So now you just want to open the game. Now you want to go to settings, graphics, and scroll down till you get to the advanced graphics. Click onto that. And it should like crash you here. Like it might not crash for me, but for you it will crash. I'm pretty sure you'll crash at some point. And when you crash, you just want to come back to the folder. So I'm going to exit out this. So after you crash, if you crash, you just want to open up this file right here. And you should get, you know, this pop up. Just say yes. Yes. And then just exit out that. And now it should just work. So now if you press the end key, you should get this little pop up here. You can resize it however you want, but you do not want to enable frame generation right now. You will crash. You want to just get into the story first. So if you look at my frame rate now, it's 84. If I click on to end and I enable frame generation, it's like nearly doubled. Uh, you can see there's a lot of artifacting. That's why I disabled the HUD. It does have issues, but it does work. So if you exit that, it's working as you can see. So I'll have a link to the original guide that I followed in the description. I'll have a link to the Discord where all the files are in the description. I'll have a link to everything in the description. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.